number one. Always finish your wife's sentences. Exactly. That way you always know what she's thinking. You're letting her know that, and you're letting her know that she's predictable. And a good way. Tip number two. When you go on a vacation, have fun, but make sure she knows how much money you're spending. Now remember, allowing her to feel guilt is actually a good thing, because guilt is actually an acronym for good financial stewardship. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It is. Tip number three. When you're in an argument with your wife, make sure to use that time when she's talking to be thinking about what to say next. This is where all the killer comebacks happen. Tip number four, surprise your wife with a weekend trip for you and your buddies. This lets her know that you need to take care of your needs and she should be happy with that. Tip number five, putting your kids in timeout works. So this is why you should try putting your spouse in timeout. This lets her know that she needs to see things from a different perspective, preferably yours. If you get any pushback, I let her know that you're having a hard time telling her from the children. Tip number six. When your wife is telling you that she's going to go out to buy something, respond like a cash register. For instance, honey, I'm going to go out to buy some new clothes. Choo -choo. Honey, I'm going to go get some milk. Choo -choo. <laughs> exactly. It works every time. Guys, those were tips all right. But those were more like marriage killing tips. No one can follow those tips. That's going to ruin their marriage. Well, you said give us killing killer tips. So you weren't very specific. That one's on you. Oh. Well, we'll just agree to disagree. 